Hi all. Yes, I have pink hands today. Um, uh, this is probably going to be a small, short story. Um, yesterday, I spent some time with a guy I recently interacted with in the neighborhood. And he was interested in hanging out and chilling some time. And I'm like, yeah, that's cool. I'm up for making new friends. Um, I have been actively working on making new friends and interacting with more people. Um, so anyways, he stopped by. So we were chilling. Um, kind of had an idea what he might be interested in. And so anyways, we were chatting a bit and he didn't really seem all that interested in asking me a lot of questions or getting to know me at all. And he didn't seem very interested in opening up and sharing about himself either. So conversation was rather halted. And yeah, didn't take too long before I figured out what his intentions were. Big surprise. He wanted an easy hookup. And I told him very honestly, I... I'm just not interested in that at the moment. Um, I lost my partner a little over 15 months ago, and I my libido went with him. TMI, I know, but that's just true. Um, I hope someday, maybe, I will be open to the idea of being intimate with another person, but at this point in my life, I'm definitely not interested in intimacy, sexual contact, um, romance, nothing from a guy or any person. Um, I am really interested in friendships and getting to know new and different people, but I have no interest in that. And his response, um, he mumbled a bit, but he essentially implied that, um, you know, I just didn't know what I wanted or needed. And, you know, he had the right stuff and that he could, you know, just magically cure me of my lack of sexual drive. And so I told him, I'm not sure why he thinks his dick is magic, but it's not. So public announcement. Yeah. Your dick's not magic. Okay. It can't. I tried to explain to him. I am sufficiently grown. These last 15 plus months, I have been doing a lot of introspection. I have come to understand myself on a level that I did not really understand myself before. And I've always been pretty reflective and, but I've really come to solidify and really understand myself. And I explained some of this to him as forwardly as I could, that I know myself quite well. I don't know everything about myself. I don't know that we ever fully understand ourselves. But at this point in time and at this place I am in my life, I have no desire. I get repulsed if anyone tries to get anywhere near me in an intimate manner. It, it just turns my stomach, literally turns my stomach. So no, the fact that you might have some magic penis. It's just not appealing to me. Um, I can recognize he's a handsome man. I like his style. When he wants to talk, he can be a sort of okay communication person, but not really. But I'm like, yeah, they, they, I have no interest in that. I know myself. I understand myself. And that is not something that appeals to me at this point in time. But he was really confident, and confidence is wonderful, but I'm like, nope. And he asked if we could chill again. I'm like, sure, just know that that is not on the table. I think maybe he thinks that I'm, like, playing hard to get. I don't play hard to get. I am hard to get, and mostly because I have no interest in being got. Um, yeah, I I told him straight up, I'm like, I'm being honest with you. I'm being upfront with you. I'm not sure that he's really familiar with that approach. 
But I was just like, no, this is what it is. If you want to spend time with me, that's fine. I'm curious about getting to know all sorts of things about new people. But that's not something I want to get to know. And yeah, I'm sure there's plenty of people that would be flattered. Uh, handsome, hardworking, gentlemen such as himself finding any interest in them, even if it is only casual. Sure. Um, a younger me probably would have gone for it for sure. Um, but I'm just not at that state. And I have found that there, this is, I don't know if it's strictly a man thing, but in my experience, that's, I mean, I'm attracted to men. So that's, I, I have found a lot of men seem to have this mentality that there's something just, you know, magical about their parts. And no, um, sex is good for a lot of things. It's a good workout. It's good cardio. Um, sex is good for, um, it actually helps release endorphins in your brain, which can help alleviate pain to a point, um, can help with pain management. It can actually help alleviate a headache. So that is a terrible excuse. Um, although certain headaches, no, not, it doesn't fix everything. Um, but yeah, just sex orgasms are very healthy. It's a good stress reliever. There's a lot of good that can come from it. Absolutely. Even if it's just a casual thing. Um, I just currently have no interest in it. And so, yeah, that just is what it is. And I don't know if he thinks this is like some cat and mouse game. <laughs> um, you know, he seems, I think he feels like this is some kind of challenge. I'm like, no, I'm being straightforward with you. I'm not playing games. I don't fuck around like that. I'm too old for games like that. I find just being upfront and honest to be a much more appropriate way to interact with the world. And so, yeah, we'll see. We'll see if I make a friend or an enemy when this is all done. Um, um, friend would be nice or just somebody that used to try to get a casual hookup. But anyways, yeah, I don't know what I just, I thought it was kind of a funny story. And the look on his face when I told him his dick was not magic was priceless. I wish I could have been filming it and I could, but just like that jaw, like, <laughs> I'm quite certain no one has ever said that to him before. But now you can't say that no more. But yeah, so that was an interesting interaction I had with a fella yesterday. <sighs> Entertaining, though, to say the least. So I thought I'd share it with y'all. Um, Hope you're having whatever sort of weekend you're having. Um... It is okay if you're not okay, and hopefully you're finding a way to get by. And until next time, ciao.